What's going on, Tenos? You know who it is. I hope y'all doing good today. And if you woke up, that's great. That means God bless us with another day. All right. So let's get into it. Uh, you know, I was doing my cooking, my lunch and stuff. You know, and I was like, you know what? People watching my bills, they watching my vids. And I was like, I know, I know y'all vets. I know the ones that've been here for a little bit. Y'all know where to find it at. But then I got some, you know, there's new people. There's always going to be new people coming. If you notice, there's always new people. So I, I know they're Googling and trying to find stuff. So I'm going to, this one, this is for the new people. And then if you don't, some stuff, if you don't know where it's at, it, I'm going to put it here too. So this is for the mods. This is where to find all the mods. Because I know you look at everything. I was like, where do you get that? Where, where do you, all right. But I'm, so I'm going to explain where to get all this stuff at. So first, your serration your pressure point and your horny strike once you pass MR3 and you get out of Earth and Mars it's gonna drop as a reward you're gonna get those automatically so those three damage mods you're gonna get those automatically now the next thing is once you get a little once you get a little you know you got a little muscle in you you wanna do the uh, the Silver Grove quest right and the Silver Grove quests they're gonna drop these three blueprints for you and this is where you get uh the r mods like growing power and some other ones bright respect uh everyone drops different mods but what i did was i you got to scan these plants so i scanned these plants all week so i bought i bought like a three-day booster a week i forgot how long and every time i ran something i scanned everything so i had tons so i had about 15 or 20 a piece then I got mines. It took me like a whole day to finally get all the mods. And then I did a few more. I don't make these no more. I, did, I just use them for the, the night wave now. You know, when they got the night wave challenge, I, I just pop one and that's it. Uh, other R mods that are free that you need for just the polarity, here they are. This is where you get more R mods. Steel charge, that's a definite. You want to get that. You want to get sprint boost. You know, I, I like my sprint. There's rifle amp. So there's there's places where you get those mods. Um, let's see, I got the R mods. I got the R mods covered. Let's all right. Uh, for overextended, narrow-minded. Overextended, narrow-minded, blind rage. You know these. What else? What else? Creeping Bullseye. Critical Delay, the one that everybody wants. You know, that's pretty tough to get. Uh, you're, what you're going to have to do is you're going to make these Dragon Keys. And they take ducats. So once again, keys. There you go. Dragon Keys, right? And where you find these is in your dojo. So you go to your dojo. And then you fast travel to Oregon, right? Yeah, there it is. There's the blueprints right there. Boom, 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 boom. You get those, you make them. And then what I'll suggest is do capture or exterminate one of the two. I don't bother with everything else. It takes too long. So the capture is easier. You do the capture. If you got a buddy or two, you all split out and you try to find the vault door. You're going to see the dragon key symbols all around. It's a nice gold door white and gold it looks like a, vo a door from the void it's the only nicest door there shining put the key grab the thing you extract you got a chance of getting one of those mods depending on the dragon key rng but you sit there for a little bit you should be able to obtain some or you're, of course you're going to get some magazine burden exactly what it is it's a burden <laughs> knock those out we got those so now we got the auras we got that dragon also you want to do nightmares nightmares give you the 60 60 mods you go down here i would suggest this to do rescue sabotage exterminate capture you know the easy ones and you're able to attain some mods out of there uh some like frost frostbite stuff like that vor drops the 60 60 poison he's in the void he drops the poison ones like 
my mag the force Vigilance Gorge. Yep. So he's going to drop the poison ones. And when you're in the void, not defense, when you're doing survival, exterminate, capture, everything else, there's going to be these puzzle rooms. It's like a little, you're going to hear a little do -do -do -do, little drum beat. You got to like race all the way to the end and do the obstacle course. Those canisters also drop mods. And those mods. It's like split chamber and stuff like that. That's, that's what you're able to get. Those You're able to get vital sense from there, you know. So you get those mods there. All right. Um, now to uh, uh, gladiator mods and stuff like that, you got to come to Earth. Come to see this. So this is where you get these mods at. Augur and stuff like that, which... They're all great. Now, there's two mods you won't be able to obtain from the bounty. You have to wait until the ghouls come back. Now, when the ghouls are here, that's when you're able to obtain two two mods. One of the sniper mods and one of the gladiators. But the best one is when the event comes. And it's like you got to put these little toxin potions together and stuff like that. See Gladiator Vise, Vigilant Force, Augur Pact. See, those are, these are all good mods. They're sparring. There you go. See? So there's mods here for you to obtain. Twirling Spire, see? So this is a place where to get stance and the Gladiators and the Augurs. And then same thing for, uh, wait, so I cover that, I cover that. So what, we got weapons, we got arrows, we got continuity and stuff like that, damage mods, we got that, we got the warframe, we got the guns. Okay, now moving on to Fortuna. Fortuna is going to drop uh, your your companion, your Kavats, and your Kubro mods. Now... Fetch will drop from the cats and the and the Kubros all over the map. So there's a chance of getting them here. Plus, there's you're able to get if you're there's another sixty the sixty sixty mods for the companions. They 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 drop by they drop from them too. So if you kill the Kavats and Kubros out in the open, they drop those mods too. So here we go. See. This one's for the Warframe, but still, it's it's still connected to your companion. There we go. There you go. That's the one you really want right there. Woo! If you got your Kavat and you get blessed, you want that one. That's what you want right there. There's Poral's Contempt for Pole Arms. Armor's Hatred, Nora's Anguish, that's where you get these at. Okay, uh, got that since we're on the Companions. So you want the two hardest ones. I know, I know, I'll explain it in a minute. Oh yeah, before I get to those. Uh, hammer Shot, I got Hammer Shot about eight years ago on the alerts where to farm it at I don't know if you know where to farm it at put it in the in the comments because I don't remember I got the, the all mines to an alert from old old times so that's the only one I don't know where to get so back to the companions and I'm sorry I don't know where that one's at and remember I'm trying to remember stuff from like eight years ago seven nine long time so you want to get Maw and bite. You want to know how to get these two, right? All right. This is how I got them a long time ago. I took Loki because the viral wasn't out during that time. That's how. That's this is old school way. So I had to take Loki, and I and I did a like exterminate or a capture, and you see the Kubro bins, the dens, the Kubro dens where you get the eggs. What you got to do is you got to kill somebody close to the den. 
go invisible, go hide. Or I'm, you're staying visible the whole time. So the energy orb, the health orb, it's going to drop. Whatever resource drops from the enemies that you kill, the Kubra's going to come out the den, take it, and take it back to their den. So you don't kill no Kubras yet. So you kill the enemies. You, may, you might have to kill one Kubra so the resource could drop so the rest of them could, I guess, take it as food to their den. And then once you see like five, six, seven, eight, eight times on one den or there's you can't get no more, then smash it. Then smash and kill everything and you got a chance to drop it there. And then you're going to move on to the next and the next. That's the old way. Now, if you got a little bit of plat, don't be mean and be, be like 15 plat. No. Give him 20 plat, bro. Because there's probably some guy that's that's MR2 doing earth nodes and he got lucky with it and he don't know what to do with it. Give him the man 20 plat. He needs a warframe slot. Don't be stingy with his ass, all right? Don't do that 15 plat stuff, bro. Because most likely he don't know what he got. He don't. If he knew what he would got, he wouldn't sell it to you. So don't be a douche and give him 15 plat. Give him 20 so you get a warframe slot, please. Be kind. Be Do one to one, one to do to you, you know. Karma. Be nice. So they can be nice to you. That's why I give stuff for free. So hopefully on another game, I get helped out on. Like Tiny Tina's Wonderland. I got blessed. Somebody came in and hooked me up. Because that, that game was terrible. <laughs> but it's alright now. It's not too bad. But I, it gets boring. It's too repetitive. It's too small. Alright, back to Warframe. So, that's where you get your companions. That's where you get those. Got the Kavats. Covered weapons. These will drop automatically just by killing them. Fetch, like I said, has, an, has a chance to drop there too. We talked about the Sith. We talked about that. Got that. Now, like I said, these... I've only gotten these from killing the animals on Fortuna when I was farming for what are those things called? I can't remember the name. I have to go to it. I know it's the 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 material needs for a little duck. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've done this, so I don't even do these no more. Uh, Torrids, there you go. When I was farming for these, the Caldra, the Vega, the Sola, there was one. I, there was one location that they were they were giving the cats. Cats were coming in, or some uh, some beast was coming in. I killed them, and they were dropping me the point, the the venom teeth, and the. And the elemental mods for the companions. That's where I got those. Now, since I'm here for Arcwing, since I'm already here, I might as well show you. You go to Profit Taker, and these are the advanced, harder mods to get. Like Critical Force, you got a chance to getting that. Strain Consume, look, another Warframe mods. That's the one you want to get. That's a beast. I'm going to tell you right now. It. As you can see, I only had, I only owned two, and I farmed this thing for like two to three weeks. I, I ran it like 40, 40 times in, 40 times a day. I'm not kidding you. And after like two to three weeks, I got tired. So I had, I bought an unranked one for 50 plat back then, 50 plat unranked. And then the next time I came in here just to do the profit taker. I, was, I did it with a buddy or a clammy. I forgot. I, the next time I came in, they dropped me another one. <laughs> so I, that's, where, that's where the extra one came in. So mark target. There you go. See? Deadly efficiency. Now, some of these mods are not for when you're in your arc wing. It's when you call it down when you're finding the profit taker. Yeah, those mods are good for that. Uh, all right other other arc wing mods right the basic ones you get from doing the arc wing missions but i also like to farm this is where i rank on my arc wing or i take people to rank up their arc wing is right here this mobile defense 
Oh, whoa, whoa! I didn't want to start. Yeah, you get the basic. You get the basics one here. Your your basic Arcwing mods, right? Now you want the 6060 Arcwing gun mods. You're gonna have to wait, and you're able to obtain another Arcwing gun here too. The the fo Formarin, whatever this one, the Grenier one. Once this one's ready, when this event comes out, you want to farm this as much as you can. Because you get the imp Imperator Vandal and you get 60-60 every single mod. Plus, oh, on this one here, the Razorback one, you're able to get the 120% the slash buzzkill, 120 puncture, uh, 120 impact. I think one of them didn't want to drop for me. <laughs> it was a pain in the ass. It, it, took like six months i ended up just getting it for 20 plat but they gave me a whole bunch of the other ones like they gave me 15 buzz kills i was passing them out like butter i was like here bro here's buzz kill here's the other i don't need all these here and then i transmuted a few of them but i never get nothing good out of the transmute so i stopped doing transmute so those two you get mods from too you get 60 60 mods you get i think i already talked about nightmares yeah you get the mods from nightmares Okay, galvanized mods. Let's talk about galvanized. Now, galvanized, this one's tough. I'm sorry for the people that just started, but congratulations for starting Warframe. You're playing one of the best games of the decades. I'm not, I'm not lying, hands down. And if you came from, from Destiny like I did, from Destiny One, congratulations. You made the smart move on coming over here. Believe me, Destiny was. A lot of games are trying to copy this game the first five years it came out, and a lot of them failed. Some of them took a little bit off the top of Warframe and they made it work. But when they tried to copy too much of it, they failed. Well, the only ones I could see that were the only ones that got a little bit. Just a little bit. So, Galvanized Mods, you're going to have to do... It's kind of like unlocking Steel Path. You got to do all the nodes one time. Now, us vets, it was a lot more easier. It was a lot less. We didn't have Zeramon. We didn't have Niermos. We didn't have the Kuva Fortress. You know, so we didn't have those three planets all right off the bat. And then, but even before that, like my old time, we didn't have Rojack. So I already unlocked Steel Path before that. I didn't have to unlock Steel Path once all this stuff came out. I already had it. I just did the nodes. So I'm sorry, but congratulations. Think of it this way. Imagine the new people coming in five years from now. You know, like, Warframe's going to be here for another 10 years. Don't like like you, it ain't. Because we've already been here for 10 years. They're going to be here for another 10 years. So you only got a little bit more work to do. So the people that come in in the future, they got more work to do. So besides doing all the nodes there, you got to do all the nodes on Railjack too. And then once you unlock Steel Path, you're going to unlock Arbitration. Where's Arbitration now? Arbitration. Uh, the defense is okay. But what I'll, I'll wait for a survival, because I like to run around and break canisters and get resources depending on the planet. So here, depending on the Warframe, you see, it gets a little tough. You see, they started from 1680, so if you're not that strong, you know, you're not going to stay for that long. But if you got a little beef in you already, you know, you got like a strong Warframe, like Rhino, and you know, you don't die too easy from rank 100s, you know, you get, ugh. You can hang in there for like 30 minutes. Perfect. Perfect. You want to get these vital weapons, right, but you always want to look at the weapons. So if like that Argo and Veil, if I had that, I'll use that. That's the next. I would use that. That's my melee. That's 300% more damage. And if you got a Riven, whoo, you can you can stay there for at least 45 minutes, no problem. So you get the vital weapons here. Now, if you got a resource booster, chance drops, even better because you they don't start dropping until after five minutes. But if you're on defense or survival, every five minutes there's a chance of getting rewards from three to six, I think it is. So if you got no boosters, no nothing, and you stay there for 20 minutes on a survival, you're able to come out with probably 15 to 25, depending on, you know, you got you got three on the, on the five minute, three on the 15 minute, and you end up picking up like you know eight from the floor. If you have a booster, you're able to obtain more. So I used to stay there for 40 minutes and I'll come out with like 60 because I, I'll have the booster and I'll get the the chance. And this is another place for indoor farming because if they don't drop the, the vital essence as a reward, you get a statue. 
So even if you get a statue or vital essence, you're still winning. So this is a good place for Endo. And then once you got enough, I'm gonna. It doesn't matter where you go. You go to the relay. Go to any relay. I like Earth because you know I like to bless people. So you're gonna see me go there now. Earth relay is where all, all the new people come. You know, beginners. Hey, what's that? Okay, so all these low MRs are that just starting the game. There you go. Here's another affinity blessing. So you come here and you gotta go to Arbiters of Hexes. Whoa, I went too far. This guy right here, Arbitration Honors. See? Here's some mods, sharpshooters, power donation, which is great for you know Nova that I'm using right now. Uh, preparation is good when you're starting, but once you get like higher MR and you get stronger, you don't need this no more because you have arcanes and other stuff that would give you more energy. Vicious swap, you know I like this one. There's mending shot, ener energizing shot. See Arcwing gun. See I just yeah I just bought one. Well, I gotta crack it. Galvanize mods. They're 20 a piece. 20, 20, 60, 80, 100. See? So you. About 200 to get all the mods. And then after you get to 200, then you're able to get your little goggles and your whip and your skins and this thing and statues and. That's a waste. It takes vital essence. Two ephemeras. The blazing stuff's pretty cool. I don't like the bloody thing. That's too demonic for me. Alright. There's that. There's that. Got that. Uh, so. I covered frames. I covered weapons. I covered auras. Oh, prime mods. Prime mods come every two weeks from Barrio. You know, every Friday you're gonna get that Tenno. I have arrived. Yeah, that guy. That expensive ass dude that breaks your pocket. Yeah, <laughs> that dude. So, he drops the Prime continuity. He drops the Prime mod. So if you're not ready to start farming for ducats for him yet, that's when you want the Dragon Keys and at least get the old school mods first, continuity, and before you get the Prime continuity. And all the prime mods, prime pressure point, yeah, get those, uh, just at least get a little beefy before you get super strong, you know what I mean? So you gotta, just like, you gotta, you gotta crawl before you walk, before you run, you know what I mean? So, little by little. Now, uh, I covered Arcwing, I covered the companions, the mechs, alright. Now, there's a, if you make it to Sanctum, if you did the campaign, this is the best place, bro. The best place. And they, they're, they're, spoon, they're spoon feeding y'all. I swear, I was like, no, hell no. I, I only bought one mod. I really didn't need it. But I was mad. And I know, just like back in the days, Hydroid. Uh, they put Hydroid all... You guys know what I'm talking about from those days. When, when they took Hydroid out and they put him as a as on Oro. So here we go. All the me Necromech mods. And easy to obtain with standing. All the easy... Look at this. All of, They're all here. Now, the old way, before they, they hand-fed you everything without doing all that hard work, We had to do this. We had to do the vaults. And the vaults drop the basic ones when you're doing it normally. But when you wanted the better ones, we had to come here and buy them. Like these two drop, but intensify, 
pressure point. These, uh-uh. Flow, ooh, I never, I never saw flow drop. So you gotta come here and buy them with, with these standings and the way to get these standings is you gotta do the vault runs and I just like on my previous video, you get the Oricon matrix, yep. I'll, just like the video I was showing, you trade these in to get the standings, which they're not hard. If you got a pretty beefy Necromech, you know, it's not that hard. But I think I got it all. If I miss anything, put it in the in the chat, bro, like, you know, in the comments, so all these new people can figure out where to get it at. Rivens. Uh, Rivens, they're, they're mods. So you're able to get Rivens from alerts. Or you get Rivens from shorties. There's a chance of getting a Riven mod here. Uh, also, I believe Rick, you got a chance to get a Riven mod here too. No? Yeah, there it is, Riven mod. Riven mod. And then when you collect enough Riven slivers, you're like, what's this Riven slivers? Yeah. All right. So you come here to a place called Iron Wake. And this is where I. This is where I. I used to farm a lot of. Steel Path Survival to get Riven Slivers. Like, not even for the, the Steel Path tokens. That was just a bonus because you know how I do. I like to multitask. So, I'll, I would even take a double... I'll take a double resource and a double ch chance drop just to get the Riven Slivers to drop. Now, this past year, I haven't been playing that much because I really don't need to. I just come in when a new update comes in. If you notice, I'm here for a, a few days. I... I start building and I come back when everything's built, max it out, and pop a video for you guys. So this is where you trade them in. See, I only got 34. So, but it's RNG. You never know what you're gonna get. So I'm gonna pop this one, and I got a rifle one. Look at that. Lucky me, I didn't get a, a kit gun. Oh my god, I hate those weeks when they give you both kit guns. And then look, for just 10, you get 35,000 Kuva. You can't say no to that. You can't say no to Kuva. That's the easiest Kuva you can get. I mean, with this Kuva here and the Kuva you're able to buy at uh, Zeramon, that's about 70,000 Kuva right there. That's 70,000 Kuva easy. That's, 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 a nice, that's a nice chunk of rolls. And if you stack them up like I have, are you waiting for waiting for the... The next, the next end game weapon, uh, you know that's I'm wasting all my Kuva on that. Just like the Incarn, I'm waiting for the next melee that's gonna replace my dual etchers. Yeah, and then I'm gonna go farm the shit out of that and roll that until I get something good, like I did with the Incarn, the Incarnate. Could it be better? Of course. Of course it could be better. But can I complain? Hell to the no. To the no, no, no. Hell, I can't complain, bro. That, you see how I do. I don't I don't go. That's like my visa. I don't go nowhere without my dual itches. <laughs> and once again, there here you are. And then the new mods drop at the new places. For instance, what's that radiation one? I think I have it on here. There you go, like that. See, radiation and fire rate. Pff, that's nasty. Now, if I didn't have a Riven, I would definitely would put that here. Bing! Easy. Oh, you can't go wrong with fire rate, bro. Fire rate and radiation, you're adding on to it. So if I take that Riven off, I'll have magnetic, corrosive, heat, and radiation. Oh no, oh, that sounds like a good deal to me. But I'm just saying, you know. So you gotta play what you have. But that's that's the gist of it. So now I told you where to get these mods, where to obtain them. Jolt is only just like the electricity ones. You're only gonna get that from from Baru every two weeks. So you gotta wait till he gets there, or you gotta spend twenty, thirty plat for Jolt. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much it. I think I covered it all. I think I got it all. 
Oh, okay. Uh, these barrel diffusion, there's three mods. They come up consistently. Uh, let's see if they're up. Yep, there we go. Thermal fracture. That's where you get them at. You get them here at thermal fracture. But I already completed it, but you see here uh, the shotgun barrage. Uh, the organ shatters that's the one I like that's the one I, I use the other ones are they're good but you gotta sacrifice damage for the ability you know what I mean these are a pain in the ass get in a group it's it's kind of hard to find so if you got friends be like hey bro I need to get this done you get the opticore vandal here too for free you don't have to spend no ducats or nothing like the vendor uh, Baruch does. Borrow, sorry, not Baruch, borrow. I guess once you click on him, when he goes away, he takes his message with him. Well, he comes every two weeks. You get it from him, but try to get this thermal fracture. Get a get a couple guys. Uh, it's it's not easy, but it's it's not hard either. But you need four people, so every one canister you get. You know, you get the points. You get the five to twenty-five fifty because if you do it alone, you got to do four of the canisters to just to get five, instead of getting five every one canister in a full group. You know what I mean? So you get that those there. You also get other mods from the Rapulus. So the Rapulus drops a few mods. Another one that drops a few mods too. Yeah, 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 I ain't even gotta say it. Everybody wants Saren, but this is where you get Saren. Even on when I was doing it, when I was when I was ranking up, yeah, I took Slow Nova. When she once she touched the ground, I was in front of her face. I put that slow on her, bro, and I tried to smash her in the face with the shotgun. Ah, ah. and then you gotta hop around. She, <laughs> yeah, there's a sequence to it. But once you get the pattern down, it's easy. Uh, make sure you take an assault rifle or sniper rifle. See the dial tone. You could just shoot it. Just don't, uh, try to take a single shot or a semi-auto. Because if you take an automatic, you might run out of bullets just spraying everything and miss. Blah, 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 you know, just to make things easier. And she drops mods there. And what I mean, those special mods are like this. I'll show you. Actually, I actually like this one. Where is it? Boom. Headshot, multiplier, lifesteal with Nakana. See? That's not bad. It's not bad at all. So, you know, I would take the fire rate off, but it's a little slow, so that's why I have it on there. I could re-roll it. At... Actually, there you go. But see, it takes my charge rate down. See, serration, damage, and sprint speed. It'll, it drops your damage a little bit, but you'll be faster. So, you know, that those are those kinds of mods. So, you gotta, like, uh. Do I want more damage or do I want to be faster? And it all depends on the frame and what you're doing. Because sometimes you could just have. That's why they give you different configurations. You could just have your fun build when you're just doing. You know, relic cracking or something. You could put all that stuff on just to go through everything quicker. And then you got your damage damage build. That's for end game or uh, sorties or something. You know, you got your your big buff build, and then you have your ah, uh, this is for my relic cracking build. So there you have it. I think I covered it all. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this is information for the new guys. See you around. Peace.